ringing of the swinging door goes open, the buzzing of the clippers, the brushing of the broom. Pop from the pound echoes throughout the room. The boom from the speakers get muffled as a familiar greeting rumbles and looms. Yer, how many heads you got before me, two? Now nah, you wildin', I just need a shape up. You can't fit me in at just this time. It's poetry. Every time, maybe it's just what's observed from a creative mind, but I find you can hear the poetry in the shop if you just visualize the lines, the sounds, the rhythm, the style, the feeling. It's four or five grown-ass voices screaming one over the other, tits for tats, cutting ass like brothers, disputes over hood politics, conspiracy theories, and whatever they can manage to debate and to challenge while going on tangents that don't make any sense, but there lies the magic behind the bohemian barbershop ballad. Old heads dropping free verse, epic poems and stories that almost seem rehearsed, reminiscing about back then with their friends, hood heroes, thugs, and vigilantes be the subjects of these stories, life lessons, intricately delivered and received gotta respect the artistry summertime sonnets and haikus spit from dudes looking through the glass at girls in skin tight dresses and high heel shoes girl that ass is fat tell me baby what it do <laughs> ain't even that cute all they do is play the barbershop hullabaloo both substance i must say any day the barbershop is more than it seems. The scenes are so inspiring to me. When they recline the seat, I close my eyes and inevitably fall into the sounds of barbershop poetry. The barbershop experience to me was always, it was always just something interesting to see growing up. And it's, um, it's, it's nostalgia. I don't, I'm bold. I don't see a barber anymore, but just going through it just reminds me of everything as a kid. I, um, I went to the barbershop, like started going alone at a young age. So I was just very observant and just everything that I wrote about, like in my poem, just everything that I experienced, it really just does take me back to, you know, good old days growing up in Brooklyn. Now that I'm long gone, kind of just things that I experienced. It's the barbershop experience at the end of the day is just nostalgia for me at its finest. I write my success story in blood because I would never know pleasure if it weren't for pain. And all the accomplishments made, everything I've attained, every sunny day would mean nothing had I never seen rain. And they say when it rains it pours, but at times it's felt like cyclones. And I'm already prone to depression on my own, but I fought. Tragedies in succession turned that tragedy to triumph. Triumph accounts for success. I try to document the story, but mere ink can't express. The trials, tribulations, and stress. Times of distress. How I've addressed feelings I've repressed to lead to my reign. So I write my success story in blood, because I would never know pleasure if it weren't for pain. Still, the story's undone. Please disregard these leaking veins. And everyday struggle, bare feet against rubble, striving through hopeless places, leave behind puzzled faces, because a few times I've stumbled and tripped up and fumbled, but I leave them befuddled when they still hear bee bumble. All they hear is the rumble of the concrete beneath their feet. See, this is my path I've paved. Might slip up on the way, but no matter how mean the streets, never catch me falling into the hands of defeat. I've overcome obstacles, made the impossible possible. Move forward independently, crush goals relentlessly. Muscle grip on reality, realizing all my fantasies. And it ain't happen randomly, make every move tactfully. It's all careful strategy. If I want it, I plant the seed. Burst through the seams so clean but so nastily. Water my dreams with passion and agony. Might have once died in me, but I entice them each time almost magically. If my persuasion could build nations, then my motivation, determination, and dedication will be the illustration for future generations. Set as the exemplification of resilience, pure brilliance. I'll leave my mark on this earth, leave behind all the evidence. It's evident. My elegance, eloquence, development, testament will forever be relevant. Everyone, both intelligent and degenerate, will take my blueprint and reference it. And I don't just do it for me. I fight and get beat. Bruise and I bleed for future generations of bees to follow my lead. So I write my success story in blood to drain every last drop from my veins. So my legacy remains because you know that ink fades, but blood stains. Success story is my signature piece. I will never stop performing it. I have written it over 10 years ago. And it started with the line, I'll write my success story in blood because I would never know pleasure if it weren't for pain. I still don't know where that line came from, 
what it did and it, just, it stemmed from there and it grew and I started performing it and it just became one of my stronger pieces. And over time I've like tweaked it a little bit and whatnot, but it just became my, like my staple. Every time I perform somewhere new, if I'm doing something big, I always just want to make sure I put that out there because it's very representative of myself.